Hey there, how are you doing? Um, this is ETA and in today's episode of Alternative Design I'm going to show a uh, design of a trap that I made, uh, made a while ago. Well, it's not so much as a trap, it's more like a detection system. Uh, on my old channel I already made a video about it, but I used it uh, as a secret entrance. Uh, but uh, over now I will show uh, how to use it as a trap. And it's a new channel, so I think it's worth uh, to make a new video. Um, so first I'll show uh, the principle behind it. Um, the way this works th it is um, you have a clock that constantly updates a piston. And uh, a piston can only push uh, 12 blocks. So there's 13 blocks over here now, so it won't be pushing. Um, but if you break one... Um, will be pushed and because of this redstone torch and this redstone wire this can be detected so um, this way you can detect uh, 12 blocks away that a, that a block was pushed um, so this doesn't only work with 13 blocks it also works with for example chests as in they can be pushed and uh, with signs as well um, now let's go to some examples of a trap. So um, a sign. This sign could be trapped. It isn't trapped now, but uh, it could be trapped even though there's nothing to be seen. Um, that's what's so nice about this trap is that nobody expects it to be trapped. However, here I have a little example of a, a, a typical well, I, I probably made some mistakes, but a typical sign uh, at the start of a VEX map. Um, I remember when Ito played uh, his uh, some VEX map, he, he was like, uh, oh, so you hate me die in a fire, that's not very respectful. So uh, he broke, broke the sign. So let's show what happens now. Well, I didn't really make it deep, so I'm not dying. I also seem to have damage uh, fire damage off so <laughs> um, but anyway uh, this can be detected so the way this works is that over here this clock is constantly pushing this piston and the lapis uh, is all in line with the with the sign it was hidden with the glass uh, grass block on top and um, vertically the detection works a little bit different so uh, there was glass over here, and uh, I sent wire, I sent uh, redstone uh, power through the glass, which wasn't powering anything. But um, because it got pushed, there's now a lapis block, so it does power. And um, this activates uh, a couple of pistons that uh, are retracted, so you fell in. So I fell in. Mm, so some other things that can be trapped so this chest could be trapped or this diamond block could be could be trapped because it uh, has a long range now these aren't trapped but um, a tree can also be trapped uh, like um, even if you mine it higher so there's something special still about this trap um, I'll show you what happens if I, if I, yeah, fire damage is still off. <laughs> um, so, what's so special about this? Say, it automatically repaired itself. So this trap is reusable. Well, it has a limited amount of reuses, but you can put that limit pretty really high if you want. So the way this works is this piston is constantly getting powered by this clock and um, when it loses power um, it will with a delay uh, power this piston so that um, what is pushed under, uh, under the, uh, the under this line of wood uh, so it activates um well when it activates and uh, so this way it gets replenished 
you can with uh, complicated systems uh, you can make this really long uh, a really long send powered uh, system so what else this is pretty complicated so so I'll uh, explain a bit more about how this works um, so this clock uh, activates it but um, the problem is if this clocks keep going and going um, it's pretty hard to uh, push something below it with that piston um, so the way I, I set it up is once uh, it push it the piston pushes out so there will be a piston arm on this block uh, it loses power all all the way around and um, the clock will be shut down when it loses when it loses power uh, so if this goes out this goes on and this will shut down the clock so the piston will stop going up and down I'm gonna shut this one down. I don't know if you guys heard that. Um, okay, where was it? So the clock will be shut down when uh, when the piston has triggered. Uh, so what al what also happens is that piston uh, triggers, so one block is pushed below, and this is the third thing that happens. This is a monostable circuit, so with a slight delay, um, this uh, uh, um, this wire will be powered again. So at the moment, nothing is really powering this; it's uh, just powering itself. So once this block uh, disappears, everything goes out, and it nothing is powering it anymore. So once uh, it has triggered once the monostable circuit make sure uh, it's ready for the for the next detection uh, so this wire just goes to the pistons that uh, retract um, should just happens like this uh, well it, it didn't it broke <laughs> but um, so these pistons retract the piston and the dirt but what broke is that it pushed this out, so that's that normally doesn't happen. Mm. So I think, oh yeah, one more thing. So one problem with this is that it requires a clock to be constantly active. Uh, one solution for this um, I have is this should be uh, Zlink's co detection system, uh, which uh, which uh, works like the co only moves when somebody is in the area, like 70 blocks or something. So um, if the co moves, this uh, redstone is triggered, and um, that activates. Um, I forgot the name. <laughs> uh, I use it so often. Ah, it doesn't matter. Uh, a memory cell is what I call it in memory. <laughs> and um, uh, a cobblestone is pushed on this uh, on this uh, pressure plate so that the after five minutes, oh, it just despawned. Um, the memory cell is reset again. I'll put it in the. Uh, I'll, I'll think about it in like five minutes or something. But whatever, uh, how it's name, how it's called. Um, so if the co moves, uh, it, uh, it starts and it's make sure that uh, the. Uh, um, Clocks are only active when you're in the in the area. Mm. I think from this you can easily see the basic system, so I don't think I need to build this. Um, so that will be it for this video. I'm sorry for the stumbling. For 
I don't know. Um, so thanks for watching and have a nice day.